Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. I help single women heal their attachment styles so that they can feel secure and fulfilled in their relationships. And in this video, I'm going to talk about whether it is actually really possible to make a permanent change to your attachment style. So can your attachment style really be healed permanently so that none of those patterns show up? So I'm just going to let you, everybody know that there is an offer on my website. If you subscribe to my website, you'll receive a free course on how to move on from a relationship fast. So let's jump into this topic because I often get asked and I asked myself this on numerous occasions and even said to myself that I can make these changes now, but I don't trust that these changes are going to be permanent. I didn't truly believe that I could change who I was. And I often get asked this in, in coaching sessions and people will often say, well, this is all well and good while I'm speaking to you and I feel like I can change. But further down the line, I find that old habits and old patterns sneak in. And the reason for this, I find, is because true healing hasn't taken place, because if it had, those patterns would be gone. Those patterns wouldn't exist anymore because you have gone from whatever insecure attachment style you were to a securely attached person. And I'm not saying that a securely attached person doesn't feel the feelings of anxiety in a relationship. I'm not saying that they're completely immune to rejection or fear. They just don't feel it the same way as anxious attached people do. So the short answer to this question would be, yes, you can permanently change. And I've seen people permanently change. So when I first came across the term attachment style and it really felt like I'd got the missing puzzle piece and, you know, I was doing a lot of self work before then, but I knew that there was something bigger underneath all of these core wounds and core beliefs that I'd been really working hard to heal. There was something else and I just didn't know what it was. And my relationship had ended again and this time instead of sort of wallowing in neediness and desperation as i was before i made a conscious choice to really find out what this was so i can heal it so i can move forward regardless of whether it's with with my partner or somebody else but i knew that there was something and it turned out that it was my attachment style and i could really start connecting the dots and um, between what had happened and what my uh, attachment style was and I don't think that I was alone in trying all these wonderful techniques I know that there's a lot of people out there that try these really really good techniques but can't seem to move forward they feel better temporarily and then it's sort of the same pattern happens again and why this is is because as I said before true healing hasn't happened so what do I mean by true healing Tr to me truly true healing can only happen once a belief or a behavior has been fully reprogrammed within your subconscious mind being aware of it although it helps and it helps put space in between you and what's happening in the outside world it's not enough to truly heal and change who you are at your core so how do we make these changes permanent if we understand that our thoughts our beliefs our feelings and our behaviors are all interlinked just by changing your thoughts about something isn't going to make this change permanent because your beliefs, your feelings and your actions might not be aligned to it. So if we take, for instance, the core wound of I'm unsafe, for example, I could go into meditation and I could think about being safe and I could get the feeling of being safe. But if I'm in the outside world acting like something's going to hurt me or feeling the anxiety in the outside world, I'm going to really struggle with completely reprogramming that belief that I am unsafe. So I, I see a lot of people who just repeat affirmations over and over and over again, which is great. It's a great technique. But if you're not following that up with your actions and how you feel in certain situations, the permanent changes are not going to happen because your thoughts, beliefs, feelings and behaviours are not all in alignment. So if we take another example of I'm unworthy, so you can imagine what it would be like to be a worthy person and you can imagine what your life would look like as a worthy person. But if you're not going to go for the job opportunity that's just presented to yourself because you don't think you're worthy of getting it, that isn't going to do you much good. So it's really important to check those four things. 
and see how you are in alignment with it or you, where you're not in alignment with it. And also a good thing to do is check how you're talking to yourself and check what your inner voice is telling you. Because if you have a belief, for example, as I said before, that you're unsafe, you're repeating these affirmations, but in between that, you're telling yourself how unsafe the world is, you know, that's not going to make the permanent changes happen. So what happens when you truly change your attachment style? How do you know that your attachment styles change? Well, the first thing is that things that used to trigger you won't trigger you anymore, or at least the trigger won't have the overwhelming effect that it had done before. So say, for example, you're in a relationship and you used to be checking your phone to see if your partner had texted you and they hadn't. If before that used to send you into an anxious tailspin and it doesn't anymore, the chances are that some permanent changes have happened. So that's a really good way of knowing. So things that used to trigger you don't trigger you anymore or the, the reaction is greatly reduced. The second sign is that you'll have less anxiety in general. Okay, so if you're an anxious preoccupied person who has a core belief that I am unsafe, you are likely to go through life with quite a low level anxiety, which will be triggered quite easily. But when you move the needle towards secure, that will greatly reduce because you're not telling yourself how unsafe the world is anymore. You feel more secure. You feel safer. You're less likely to have these moments of extreme anxiety and you'll feel safer. You'll feel that you can handle yourself a lot better and that you can protect yourself if you needed to because you're more secure, which leads me on to the third thing, which will be you will increase in confidence. You will be able to see what your value is and you will be able to know that you can take up space in the world. Anxiety tends to make us feel quite small, but security gives you confidence so that you can take up space in a, your relationship, in your career, Wherever it is, you will feel safer to take up space in that. And the third thing that you'll notice when you start truly healing is that you'll have a lot more compassion for yourself and other people. So because you know and that you're aware now that everybody has got their own subconscious programming that they might not be aware of, you might have a lot more compassion towards other people. And you'll certainly have a lot more compassion with yourself because you will know when you feel triggered or if you have acted in a way that you didn't like, you will know that it's just a wounded part of you that's come up and that needs to be healed. And the last one that I want to mention today is that your relationships are likely to transform because you break these subconscious programs and these subconscious beliefs down and they're no longer there. You can find that you're a lot more present with people and you can listen a lot better to people. This really makes relationships, whether it's romantic or friendships, really thrive because you can connect on a much deeper level with other people. And you'll see things that you didn't see before and you will find that life is a lot more enjoyable than you thought it was. So it is well worth looking at what your attachment style is so that you can reprogram and heal it so that you can become more secure within. And so I really hope that that video was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a like so a lot more people can see it. And I will see you in the next video.